So I spent over $4,000 on Lucid Dreaming products. And uh, I thought it might be interesting to make this video just to explain kind of what happened, which one was the best, and what you can learn from this so that you hopefully don't have to go and spend $4,000 on Lucid Dreaming products. Before we start, one thing, a very simple thing, just go scroll down and comment what you think will be the best one or you know what you think is the most effective product. And it could be a supplement, a device, machine, mask, whatever. By the way, if you are struggling to lucid dream, uh, I have a free kind of video workshop that you can go and watch. The link is in the description. It should be kind of the first thing you see there. And uh, that will explain my kind of three step process. That will let you lucid dream very reliably without any device, machine, or even supplement. So go and check that out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, and because there's so many lucid dream products that I have actually tried, you know, there's, I mean, there's dozens of them, okay? I'm gonna, what, what I'm gonna do is when I edit this video, I'm gonna actually make a list of them. And I'm just gonna show you on the screen maybe now, a uh, kind of like a text list of all of the Lucid Dreaming products that I have tried at least once. Uh, most of them I've tried, you know, a couple of times or more. And some of them I've tried for over a month, kind of every day. So, and this has taken, you know, obviously a few years. I didn't actually intend to make this video, but I realized the other day that actually I have tried quite a lot of Lucid Dreaming products and uh, yeah, I have some stuff to say about them. So what I found, and this is the most interesting, is that the vast majority of these products gave placebo support. What I mean by that is they actually helped lucid dreaming. They made it more likely. They made the dreams, not always, but most of the time, more vivid, easier to remember, and more intense. But the interesting thing is that I, very, I was very aware that this was a placebo effect. So what I mean by that is that mo almost all of these products that I've listed here helped me lucid dream more often. But I think it was a placebo effect because over time, you know, whether it was like the next night, the next week, the next month, the, the effect that they had diminished. And I was back to my kind of base level of frequency of lucid dreams, which was already pretty good, but it was made slightly higher by most of these products. And the placebo effect is so powerful that it's well known, like medical professions and me medical professionals and uh, doctors and pharmaceutical companies, they build in placebo effect to their products because they know it makes a difference. Interestingly, I found that the physical devices, physical things like, for example, a totem, like a coin you hold, or a mask or device, had the strongest placebo effect because subconsciously I was thinking, you know, well, it, firstly, it's expensive, so it, there must be some kind of value, and that's also something that's been proven. I was also thinking, well, there's obviously a lot of work that's gone into this. It's a physical product, and it must do something. So subconsciously, it amplified that placebo effect compared to, let's say, uh, a supplement, which still has a placebo effect, but it's not as strong because you can't, once you swallow the pill, you don't notice it's there, unless you really keep reminding yourself, like, oh, I took that pill, so then, I must be able to lucid dream more. With something physical like a, like a totem or a coin or a mask, you're constantly reminded of it so that placebo effect works better. Now, I just wanna make it clear that I'm not saying none of these products work. The opposite, actually. I'm saying all of them worked in a way, in, a, in the sense that they increased the placebo effect, made lucid dreaming more likely. However, very few of them gave reliable long-term support, meaning, there was very few of these products that actually, over a long period of time, made me lucid dream more often. After a while, the effects taper off and you're left with your baseline frequency of lucid dreaming, which is only influenced by your habits, your techniques, your mindset, and the things you do, your actions. And this is why, just wanna quickly remind you again about my free workshop on lucid dreaming. The link is right there in the description. And in that workshop, I explained the same thing that I'm telling you now. Devices and supplements will help you initially, okay? But they won't, you know, they won't increase your ability to lucid dream. They'll just make it more likely that your existing ability will give you results. I hope that kind of makes sense. It makes sense in my head. Anyway, so yeah, very few of these products gave reliable long-term support and, you know, it's really no surprise if there was a single product that could give instant reliable induction of lucid dreams, it would probably be the most valuable company and product in the world. Or at least, you know, it would be what it would be well up there. So, what influenced my lucid dreams more than all of these products? Well, it was the same things I keep talking about on this channel, and I've been saying the same things for about seven years now. It's your habits, it's your mindset, and your beliefs. 
those three things alone make up, I would say, 80 to 90% of your uh, likelihood of having a lucid dream. Now you can boost that and get to 90 to 100%, or near enough 100% by doing those three things in combination with the placebo inducing devices, supplements and what have you, but they won't give you reliable instant lucid dreams. They can help, but it's far better, it's a far better use of your time to instead build up the skills and the habits that will actually let you lucid dream. So what's the best thing to induce a lucid dream? Well, I'm launching this lucid dreaming mask. It's gonna be about a thousand, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> now, of course, the products that you buy, supplements, devices, they, they might help you a little bit, but the truth is it's all about your habits and mindset. The actual mental activity and, and uh, effort, I guess, that you have to put into learning lucid dreaming that will give you the results. Now, that being said, it doesn't have to be difficult. And this is a really key distinction I want to make. Yes, you have to put in effort and learn the exercises, the techniques and everything like that. But if you do things in the right way, and if you remove these kind of mental limiting beliefs and blockages, it can actually be very easy. So yeah, that's all I want to say in this video. I probably have spent about 4,000 or more dollars on various products, masks, devices, supplements, and things like that. Now they have their place. I don't know if I should link. To, I mean, maybe I'll put a link in the description to like a comparison of if you are interested in products like supplements or devices, I've done a comparison. So you can see like, if you're gonna do it, which one is kind of the best and what's the pros and cons. But I would actually advise you to not do that. Don't, don't do that. You know, uh, instead just focusing on building your habits and, and the actual ability to lucid dream as a foundation. And then when you build on top of that, you know, like I said, uh, when I tried these things, the vast majority increased my lucid dreams, but I already had that foundation of skill. I'd already been practicing it before I even tried any supplements or devices. This was, you know, I had years of building up the skill and the ability so that when I finally tried my first like galantamine pill or, you know, whatever it is, then it made a bigger difference. So hope that makes sense. Um, go and check out the free workshop, the breakthrough workshop. It's a three-step process that will show you how to actually do that, how to actually increase your ability to lucid dream. The link is in the description. And comment what you, th and this is a really important part, if you're still watching now, comment what you have found to be your most effective uh, pill, supplement, device, mask, or product. So I hope that makes sense, and I'll see you next time.